Hello, I'm Venom Rush, and today I'm going to show you an advanced staircase design which I believe will get a lot of the builders out there excited for two reasons. One, 99% of the design uses the in-game snapping points, and two, the very design of the staircase forces you to get creative with your build in a way that's fun because it's easy to get creative with it. So here we have the staircase design. Uh, there are two of them because as you'll notice they have different roof designs. Uh, this will be purely dependent on how you've designed your own base, uh, but we'll get to that later. As you can see it goes up half a wall exactly, which is really nice. It allows for some nice creativity. You can maybe store things under there if you like. Uh, you could even create two walls up either side here and just have a gap in the middle that is the outside of the base. Um, you could even just have one side walled and then have these floorboards missing and this could be the entrance to your base that comes up here. Uh, whatever the case may be, you've got all the snapping points, it's all legit, there's no... the, the only non-snapping portion of it is the middle section here with these tiles, which I will show you once I start the actual build process. But just to give you an idea, that is it, there's no uh, trouble walking up here, um, I mean, the only time you're going to get caught is maybe if you just walk into the corner here, yeah, which I imagine if you're a relatively decent player, you wouldn't do that. And it works pretty well. Okay, so I've set up some scaffold in here. You're going to need to do something similar. And you want to get up on top here. Uh, this would be difficult when I'm trying to record. Okay, so now you're on top of the pole here, the scaffolding. You want to grab your one by one floorboard and then just get to the snapping point. This is going to be the center point of the stairs. So just find the center point of where you want to uh, create your staircase. Uh, it's going to be five, floorboard, five one by one floorboards wide. So just take that into account, get the center snapping point and then what you want to do is you want to just start tapping shift. Just tap shift and move your crosshair in the opposite direction of where the floorboard snaps to until you get to a point where there's very little movement. It doesn't have to be perfect but it seems to be pretty good right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let go of shift, I'm going to let it snap to the floorboard below and then I'm going to hold shift, use my mouse wheel to rotate the floorboard one degree or one angle and then uh, keep doing that until I've done, I think it's eight floorboards. Uh, that should be right. Okay, so now we want to get rid of the scaffolding. And then we're going to put the very last floorboard on top here so that it snaps to the top of the pole. I know it may not seem like it's snapping to the pole there, but trust me, it is snapping to the pole. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, gold guide videos. Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so now you've got this. And what you want to do is start filling the stairs out. So... The first step, so to speak, would be pretty easy because that's just going to snap to the floorboard. Then you want to rotate and then start snapping these. Uh, that looks right. Start snapping these all the way up. And there you have the basis of the floorboard. What you can do now is if you want to keep things symmetrical, let's just add pillars here, just so you've got an idea of where 
the scent point is. Uh, at this stage, this doesn't really need a, a fourth color there. You can just add that there. That's going to be open. And there you have the base of the staircase. The next part is add in the the walls of the staircase. So what you want to do is you want to grab your one meter horizontal pole or beam and then just start snapping it on you. Try get the lowest snap point you can without it being level to the previous step. Okay, this one step is the exception to all of this. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems to snap at the same level as the stair. Uh, I've tried to get an, a snapping point for it. Uh, just doesn't want to work with me. So just be aware that this one beam yeah, will be the same level as the highest stair. Once you've done that, you want to grab a one meter vertical pole and we're just going to start adding these rotating them one by one up the staircase the same way we did the, the horizontal beams and the reason we use the one meter vertical pole is because it makes life so much easier putting these on top of the one meter poles as opposed to doing the two meter poles and then trying to put a one meter pole on top of it. Actually, I'll leave that one down for now. And then you've got your poles. Next, you want to grab your one meter wood beam again. This is going to depend now on the style of roof that you want. If you want to go for a style of roof like this one over here, then what you want to do is take the one meter beam and just put it out over the staircase like so. And then what you want to do is grab a roof tile. The 26 degree thatch roof seems to work best for this. And you just want to start lining it up so it snaps to these horizontal beams. And then you've got the roof pretty much sorted. A nice little flare to add to your base. And then you can start getting creative with the way you want things to be built. When it comes to the roof, what you want to do is actually get up above the staircase because it's kind of difficult to snap the roof uh, to these horizontal beams so that it actually covers it and prevents it from degrading when it rains. So what you want to do initially is just put a roof tile there and make sure that it's half protruding off the pillar. So you want it like that. You want to do the same thing over this side. And once those two are in place, you just want to, as best you can, make your way up top here. And then start snapping these up here. So 
you want to have the portion closest to you snap to the beam and just make sure it's on top of the beam not below like that because then it's the this horizontal beam is going to start degrading when the weather gets bad so just put it like that rotate just make sure you're not forward you want to be back there and then keep doing this all the way down So there we have the guide to an advanced staircase. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get creative with how you close things up and make things look pretty. Um, don't worry too much about these sticking out the way they do. What you can do is if you want to attach this to your base and have the design just flow with the roof the way that it is here, you can simply add your 26 degree roof and just clip it into the other roof tile and then just carry on with the base as as is um and it yeah this little gap in the middle here provides a nice little challenge and sort of visual interest to your base in terms of forcing you to build around it uh so yeah i hope you enjoy that have fun building I am working on another staircase design which I will make a video for if, uh, if you enjoy this let me know um, and then I'll uh, get that other video out.